What's going on, everyone? If you are a parent of a student or student looking to go to an elite university, public or private, and you want to know a little bit more about the CSS profile, in less than five minutes, I'm going to tell you pretty much all the basics that you need to know about the CSS profile, just in case it might be something required for you to actually complete and fill out. Here we go. Hey guys, like I always say, college is a business and what you don't know can definitely cost you. Thanks for checking out this video, but don't forget to download your free copy of The Business of College. You know the game before you pay. So a lot of families out there, a lot of students um, might be very familiar with the FAFSA, but when it comes to the CSS profile, they might have heard of it but they don't know exactly what it is, what's required as far as the type of information and why the heck do they have to complete it. So uh, let's jump right into it. The CSS profile. Uh, if you are a family that either your student is uh, attending an elite university or a private university, or you might be considering an elite or private university, you may have heard of the CSS profile. So it stands for College Scholarship Services. And the CSS profile is, is pretty much governed and administered by the college board. So uh, the reason why it's not so popular and a lot of people don't really know what it is, is because not, not many universities actually require, when I say not many, there is about 400 universities that do require the CSS profile. Sounds like a lot, but it's really not, you know, when you think, think about all the universities out there. However, of those 400 or so universities, most of them are private schools. There are a handful of uh, public selective universities that do require the CSS profile, such as, uh, I believe, the uh, Michigan, uh, University of Michigan, North Carolina, a few other public universities. But for the most part, it's usually your private schools and or your elite universities that require the profile. The objective behind the profile is meant to take a closer look at your financial situation, your ability or inability to actually pay for college. CSS profile is looking at things like your primary, um, your primary residence or real estate, looking at things like your retirement accounts, if you have life insurance that, that has some type of cash value feature, if you have annuities, if you have uh, any kind of valuables or, or uh, collection of, of, of automobiles or jewelry, anything that equates to your ability to pay for college, the CSS profile wants to know, uh, it's asking questions to know about that. In another video, we will compare the uh, the CSS profile to the FAFSA, just so you can kind of see the differences as far as what the requirements might be, as well as um, some of the similarities. It's meant for uh, uh, students that are citizens of the uh, United States of America, as well as uh, international students that are looking to come to school and you know in the states. So that's one of the unique things about the uh, the profile in comparison to the FAFSA. Okay, so October first is the window to start completing and submitting your your profile as well as your FAFSA, and you also want to do it every year that you feel you might need uh, financial assistance. So you're going to complete the CSS profile, for example, your senior year in high school for the following years incoming uh, your following year as an incoming freshman in college. So uh, one unique thing, a big unique thing about the CSS profile is that there is a fee to submit the profile. The first university that you send a profile to is about 25 bucks. Every university after that first one is, is about $16. There is uh, a fee waiver for certain students or families that do qualify for a fee waiver. But uh, just know if you have a long list of colleges that are all private or elite, then you're looking at a pretty um, nice, you know, uh, fee for just applying and submitting your profile to those individual schools. Uh, what you don't know can definitely cost you. Thanks for checking us out. Be on the lookout for some more information regarding the CSS profile as well as the FAFSA. If you have any questions, you need anything from us, please don't hesitate to reach out to us directly or you can comment below. Thanks again for checking us out. Enjoy the rest of your day and we will talk to you soon. Have a good one.